zone. The big thing, I think, as we watch this game, how does Georgetown adapt to the morphing zone that Jim Beheim's guys provide? Of course, Syracuse and Jim Beheim, well, he's been there 46 seasons as we get to take a look at the starting lineups presented by Jeep. And his starters, they all average in double figures. Of course, his two sons, Buddy and Jimmy, in there filling it up as well. For the Hoyas, keep your eye on number 11, Caden Rice, coming off a 34-point performance on Wednesday in the victory over UMBC. Down here in D.C., supporting this young program. And they're going to get better. They struggled and stumbled a little Georgetown out of the gate, but uh, shown improvement. And off we go. Try to grab it, Muhammad, but it's tracked down by Gerard here. The official is Jeffrey Anderson, Lee Cassell, Tony Chiazza. Brenton going right down. The highest go a little. I wanted Syracuse to be on defense uh, first. So. <laughs> we'll give it a shot in the second half. <laughs> this is what he's done better, Swiner. They establish a post up with the bounce. All three perimeter guys. Swider, the Villanova transfer. Syracuse's last game against Nova at the Garden. They lost it. But this guy had a big game in that loss. Jimmy Beheim at 21. He's got the first two here. He's the switch hitter in the league, huh? <laughs> in the conference, the ACC can deliver with either hand. Shoots it lefty, does everything else with that right hand. And he's really coming on strong. Cornell grad transfer. Of course, his brother, Buddy, been here during his tenure at Syracuse as well. Now the Hoyas with their first offensive possession. And they force you to be patient with this zone. Is it a little bit different this year? Yes. There's been a lot of talk of the changes in this zone. A deep shot forced, and that's what they do to you. You've got an offensive rebound if you're going to stick in with this zone. Caden Rice, that's the guy who had program record 10 threes last game missed two on that possession well you've got to be there on the catch once you go over half court not a good look here turned over Malcolm Wilson forcing it up ahead there's Wilson but he can't handle it and yeah, Muhammad's pass a little high now they're trying to beat them down on occasion uh, before that zone sets up well, you have a chance to win $1,000 from Fox Bet Super 6 today. Just scan the QR code now. Enter your six picks from today's game. You could win big. Download the Super 6 app to enter and play, and it's free. And Brandon, to your comment, we'll talk about it. When Buddy plays the foul line almost like a 1-3-1 zone at the other end. Yeah. And it morphs to your shape. Here is Gerard, who can really fill it up to the corner. There's Swider, the Villanova transfer too much. And weak side rebound to Georgetown. Always balance the floor, extend the defense. And right now it's the pure 2-3. If you put a guy on that foul line, Buddy will slip down. Speaking of slipping, splitting the defenders, but off the mark for Dante Harris. Muhammad, they thought he got fouled, no whistle. I thought he did as well. Look where you have to pick them up. A lot of individual isos. And Gerard's got some range and some craftiness with the bounce well, he's shooting 54 percent from three number 11 for the orange just been on fire especially the last couple of games and that's that little series baseline bumps here is gerard watch the shot clock now and he throws it away numbers for the hoyas muhammad says i'll do it myself boy they're letting him play aren't they i think uh, uh, is he okay yeah he's muhammad okay there. late to get back so they've got nice an pass. advantage right inside Jesse Edwards. Yeah, that's a combo guard instinct by Gerard. What a great look. Clever off the bounce. Jesse Edwards, one of the most improved players in the ACC. Keep an eye on him today. He's averaging 12 and 6. This is what you were asking now. See, yeah, the zone. Buddy, buddy on the foul line in case you slip to that logo of Big East. It makes it tough to get it in that high post. It does. You right? do everything quickly. Nice pass. Well, that works. Get it on the baseline to Malcolm Wilson. You need more numbers than they do on that baseline. If you get it to the corner, you're going to get trapped. So you need very quick decisions. Malcolm Wilson getting more time with the injury to Timothy Ego Efe, who broke his hand earlier in the season. So you'll see more minutes from that young man. A pretty good individual defense, but not on the catch. You got to be there. There's Buddy Buckets, Buddy Beheim from three. Same number as the dad, much more ability. <laughs> Did you say that to his face pregame? Huh? I'll have to check the tape. Uh, he leads Syracuse with almost 18 points a game. He's got him up 7 2 after that one. Get in between the cracks, and you got to make these jumpers when you get them. And why not? 
After a tough South Carolina game, stepping up big. Yeah, Bryce was 0 of 8 from 3 against South Carolina. Then we mentioned he had 10 last game, program record in the win over UMBC. In and out for Jimmy Beheim. Boy, they do a great job getting the three second lane. Aminu Muhammad, the freshman. A lot of youth on Georgetown. Uh, that they can grow. In the corner, there's Rice again. Rap, they got to find number 11. Absolutely. A little late close. The center sometimes have to cover, and Edwards, tardy. Well, you would think that had to be at the top of Jim Beheim's scouting report after seeing the last game. Okay, right now, I'm impressed with the man to man defense. Gerard, no. Weak side rebound coming down to Carey. He's a guy that can make threes, too. Muhammad bumped, driving, trying to drop it off with a bad pass. Look at the bodies hitting the deck. Yeah, this has an old Big East feel, doesn't, doesn't think it? Of the same thing. <laughs> the only thing missing is the town. God bless him. Oh, uh, buckle in. Impressive, huh? Big tired. And spending 10 or 15 minutes every time I came here, and just reflecting on the well, his great career, obviously Georgetown, and the great players like this uh, that he's made, maintained such a great contact with. Yeah, they dedicated the court to John Thompson before the game. Some of his family members were out there emotional, understandably, and a deserved standing ovation. There it is, John Thompson Jr. court name today. Knocked out, it'll stay on this end. So meaningful to so many people. I remember doing games, and you've done a ton with him in the tournament, but the players would come over and just thank John Thompson for all of his contributions, you yeah, know? Absolutely. Opposing players. Opposing yeah, players, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. I mean, it, just everyone appreciated what he did for the game. They recognized his accomplishments. Carey can stretch the D. We know Rice. Now, this should open up drives. Nice little play by Harris. And it gets it back out to Carey. Look at him working the ball around. Boy, that's a deep three. He is feeling it again tonight. That's three for Rice. Get that number, number 11. Boy, they are on a stretch and open up the inside game with their ability to deliver deep. Caden Rice on his own personal 9-0 run right now after Syracuse was up 7-2. Buddy right, Beheim. Right, right now there's some similarities in that you've got to hug the perimeter should open up some things in the lane. This is his game. Off balance. His brother got the rebound, finds wider open look, right in rhythm. Uh, that's the problem. Offensive kick out just can destroy you. The offensive rebound, but against Villanova, rebounding really hurts here. You see, we're minus 21 in that mm -hmm. loss. Uh, they're not big inside. Uh, they're on the perimeter, 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, this time it's a different shooter, and there's our first foul of the game as Carey gets bumped by Buddy Beheim. He'll have three at the stripe. That's interesting. I'm sure he thought it was Rice. That's why he closed out so emphatically. Uh, but this is what you can do go inside out and get some open looks, and then you got to chase it if it's not going down. But you said it, Raph. This guy, Carey and Rice, both shooting about 44% from three. If they make shots, Georgetown's got a good chance of this Absolutely. game. Absolutely, and the inside guys will be able to do some damage. Uh, Ryan Mutombo on the floor getting a lot more minutes, been very effective of late. And if you're saying, man, that name Mutombo sounds familiar, yes, that's Dikembe's son. He's also 7 2, Ryan Mutombo. I found it interesting watching games. He runs exactly like the dad. Yeah. You know, with the head <laughs> forward. Boy, his dad was something, right? You said one of the nicest guys. Uh, absolutely. Our daughter was in school here uh, during his term, very popular with the student body. Ryan went to high school in Atlanta and now a freshman. Of course, the charities he's been involved with building hospitals in Africa. Yeah, done Kennedy. a lot of good. Yeah, a lot of stepping up for humanity. Carey gets the free throws. Georgetown the four-point lead here. And yeah, Rice gets a few pats on the back. And don't sit down too long, though. I, I was going to say, don't get comfortable. They're going to need him. Swider's done a better job using the dribble with impact. He feeds it in here to Frank Anselm. Whoa! Throwing it down over Matumbo. Oh, the physicality not present by Matumbo. Now they need minutes, as you noted before the game. The guys play a lot of minutes for Georgetown. So they need some people to step up. Well, they, from that time. They've only had one point off the bench total in the last couple of games. That's hard to believe. It's incredible. And the teams they've had it against, right? They had a nice little pass to the... 
post area. Muhammad following his own miss, creating space and finishing. He's a tough kid. Good off the bounce, getting better with the stroke. Yeah, he's a good-looking freshman from Temple Hills, Maryland. And boy, he is stepping up with Buddy Beheim. Not giving him any breathing room. Slider. No. Look at Muhammad, active. Uh, he's one of the highest recruits they've had, really, and you can see why. Yeah, he's a five-star McDonald's All-American. Here it's Matumbo off the mark and a rebound to Swider. He can make that shot, that turnaround jumper. Those good little baby hooks. And he's coming off his best Late game. Cover. Boy, look at this. In the corner off the mark for Jimmy Beheim. Boy, you dodge one when you don't cover properly. Nice. No-look feed, yeah. but Anselm got a hand on it. Yeah, nothing easy against that zone. They slide, but Mohammed shown his ability to dominate at that rim. Well, he is quick to the ball, too. Great first step and some strength. He already has five rebounds, Ralph. Three of them offensive as now he gets a breather. Pass to the corner. They'll trap it, so you got to get it out. Jordan Riley in the game, another freshman. Between the freshman and sophomore, six of them in the rotation for the Hoyas getting minutes. And Riley uses the ball screen generally, looks to push the ball. Trying to feed it inside. Ooh. And out of bounds, turnover. You got to value it. All the way with a little quick snap pass. Now you kind of mentioned it, but Georgetown over 14 turnovers a game. That's been a little bit of an issue for and, them. And, and you cannot turn it over against the Syracuse team. Don't give them ample opportunities. That way or on the glass. Pin down. Look at this cover. Gerard been quiet so far. He just can't get free. Nice pass inside. And a foul. They're going to say no shot. Of the two Bayheims, Jimmy is a heck of a pass. He is. He's got a great feel. Wrap around passes, but Georgetown hanging tough big time. Send and Bowie. Uh, what a run they have had. They had at Syracuse. He was Bayheim's assistant 96 to 2000 and the head man at Seton Hall from 2001 to 06. Yeah, there's a lot of interwebs between these two programs, that's for sure. They've done a nice job on these little post-up creations by the kid. The kick out, don't give that kid space. He is good. Joe Gerard can fill it up, folks. The third. The that third. third. What do you think of it, yep, right? Yep, yep. As he hits all those threes, that's 31 of them now to lead the team on the season. And you were impressed by his high school numbers, right? Oh, Just my gosh. Extraordinary. He, most points in New York State history, almost 5,000 of them. He averaged 49 as a senior. Unbelievable. And there he might have gotten away with a kick. Got to get back in cover. They stretch you. Swider Pretty. dropping it off. Attack in the rim, Anselm. And Swider really playing comfortably here, not worried about a bad shot or not making a shot, putting it on the deck a little bit, and finding here with a nice little left-hand delivery off the bounce, and no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Attempting it anyhow. Uh, remember, Anselm dunked it on Matumbo earlier. This time, Matumbo gets the foul. Now, this is great if he can give them some quality minutes, gives Edwards a chance. You get a little blow and not as much concern about fouls. Well, coming in, and we talked about their lack of bench production. Anselm only had made five field goals. Now he has the dunk, and he's back at the line here. But as you and I were saying, historically, you know, Bayheim doesn't go deep. It doesn't need to. So they don't get a ton from their bench in previous no, seasons absolutely. either. Absolutely. Their spot help, basically, over, the, over his career, really. Seven would be a lot. Eight at the, the most. And again, I do think that 2-3 zone, although you do have to move, it's a little more restful yeah. as a player. You're not as involved in cuts and screens and bumps. Anselm misses the second. They've been shooting 75% coming in here, too. All tied up at 16, nine minutes in. Here's the, the normal 2-3. Let's see if George nice little screen to give the open look. It looked like Harris lost yeah. that in his hand when he went up. He's saying he's rubbing his back of his day. Don't get back. Look at this. The second dunk for Frank Anselm. Patrick Ewing is not happy. He takes a timeout. Well, he is upset at not recovering the floor. It's interesting. He's a little upset at Ryan Matumbo, York. And obviously Syracuse, Patrick, not upset with their defensive balance. You must get back and identify against this team. No less at the rim. 
Here's the normal two three. See if they get a little post flare. Into the corner goes his right. Yep. And look at it. Anselm has given him big minutes. He got a piece of that. Even look at this gift to an open look. Bayheim right in rhythm. It's a 9-0 run. And Gerard has been so impactful. Great little six pass. You know, his passing, it kind of goes unnoticed. He averages four assists a game. Uh, he is a complete player, this kid. Where is Georgetown going to find the stopper here? Now they're racing him to one side of the floor here. Almost like man-to-man. -man. Harris lost the dribble. Shot clock at five. Got to go. Harris realizes it. Nice pass. Great pass. And the finish inside from Holloway. May have gotten bumped two at the rim. That's what they need from the perimeter. A little dribble drive. Get between the cracks. Well, the theme so far is let him play. We've only had three fouls. I'm refs are staying overnight in D.C., maybe. <laughs> Beheim with that right hand. You mentioned he's ambidextrous. Ooh. And then I, I believe uh, Harris underneath. Yeah, Harris got him. Boy, Sergis had some really nice looks around the rim, but this is just terrific execution. And get the puppies organized, buddy. A little nylon from deep. Little dribble drive and nice little pocket pass. Big time. Here is Beheim right there on the catch. Mohamed can't give him any space. Good defense. Sure was. Anytime you have that jump out, jump shot, you've got some problems. Mohamed, good skip. There's Rice. Boy, they dodged a bullet. Boy, they sure did. He's taken six shots all from behind the arc. He's hit three of them, Caden Rice. We don't need much space. This is where you have problems. Doesn't get the bounce, Gerard. Boy, he can slip inside that defense. And also when he gets there, he can find people when you overhelp. Here we go with this ball screen and a settle. Stop it, pop three, Dante Harris. Now they did it when you mentioned he lost or slipped out of his hands on this side. Pretty effective. It's not really Harris's game under 30%, but he ties us at 21. Bayheim trying to curl it around. Anselm missed it. They missed a lot of easy ones at the rim. Size prevailing. Everything contested and tough here today. And a foul. Anselm getting handsy. Yeah, from the rear. Back I'm to press with George, excuse me, Georgetown's offense. They've done some really nice things. Maybe not made the shot, but this little bump on the right at work, and unfortunately slipped out of his hand. But that time, he has been impressive, I think, at times. He plays solid through a different team. Yeah, Harris getting a breather. Both teams four of eight from distance. And Georgetown coming in 39% from three. That's where they can really hurt you. To the corner, and those three again a piece. That time it was Jimmy Behan. Well, he's got some size. They close because they know they got support behind them. Mention those long arms for Syracuse on the wings. They certainly have that link. Buddy Buckets rejected out of bounds by Aminu Muhammad. He has played great defense. He's been there. Terrific support as well. And not fouling here. You know, you've got to help with Malcolm Billy Heim, but just a great response defensively. Uh, Patrick Ewing says about Muhammad, he goes hard every play. So talented. Swider looks up at the shot clock. Torrance in the game for the first time. Back to Swider for He's three. Yep. Online, but missed it. And we're Edwards. heading the other way. Yep. Edwards. But that looked online, didn't he? It was right. That's we were right there with it. Media timeout. The game we expected, all even. I'm getting a breather. His son's going to be a nice player. I watched him practice yesterday. Pays attention, works at it. Learning. The physicality is going to be an issue, I think, this year. But he's going to get stronger. Yeah, 7'2", 250 pounds. But he has some room to put on some weight. There's that 1-3-1 look, and they slip behind. Billingsley in the game number four. He's going to turn around and miss the 15-footer. Edwards is really good. He can elevate. And that's a nice... I, I love a guard in that spot if you yeah. can. Or a forward who can make some plays. 
Buddy Bayheim's hit a couple threes. They're tracking him. And Syracuse does a good time. Can drive it. Torrance, the Syracuse native who started his career at Marquette and then transferred in. Uh, Syracuse native, too, with the blue by. His first bucket. He's only given him two points a game, but backup point guard. Rice in there would be nice also. Here's Tyler Beard. And he has it rejected. The long arms of Jesse Edwards. Look at the patience here. Baseline drive, slider. Muhammad got him. Oh, boy, they didn't like that here in D.C. Boy, I like that kid, though. Boy, great presentation defensive. I also like Swider, you know, foregoing after this terrific defensive maneuver. And the excellent decision here by Edwards, giving it to a guy who can put it on the deck. And, and I guess they could always say there's a little body bump somewhere. But, boy, that was impressive. Cole Swider, Villanova the last three years. And... After the loss on Wednesday at the Garden, understandably, he said, yeah, it was very emotional. He's still good friends with Jay Wright and all those guys for Villanova. Yeah, he was one of those kids that came in and, you know, banged some down and got his minutes. This gives him an opportunity late in his career to flourish. Well, he really has, because he's averaging 12 this year, only five last year at Villanova as he gets a seat. Syracuse up and three little back and forth back and forth here in the first half and Benny Williams getting some minutes now We're Very high on his Ability now he's a freshman from right here in DC from Bowie, Maryland playing for Syracuse But it really causes you to be patient Beard gives it up top rice, you know, he'll fire from anywhere down the five Muhammad boy had to put it high over Edwards got his own miss boy mentioned it Raz, but Patrick Ewing says he's just a freshman but he goes as hard as any player I've coached and there's an example he reminds me of the old days let me tell you uh, you played all out at Georgetown that's what they got to get back to and this kid just pursues it you saw him on the defensive end trying to block the shot really stick it in there big time Patrick Ewing said when you go as hard as he does I'll live with the freshman mistakes I've got to keep this kid on the floor he's got seven rebounds four of them offensive and the stroke is going to come to about 80 83 percent from that free throw line but watching him yesterday he makes a couple then he's a little early left or right and that's all about maturing at this level Watch out for Jimmy Beheim here, I think, because he's got some size. He can penetrate, and he does post up a little bit. He's down on the post, carry guarding him. Right now, it's Gerard looking for space. Finds Beheim. What you called it, partner. Now, uh, this kid really knows how to play. He must be a coach's son. Uh, yeah, you think? What a story with those two playing together. Great story. Because it's all Julie, though. Yeah. Personality, talent. Yeah. Jim's wife, she's here today behind the bench. In the corner, three open off the mark there from Carey. Well, I like the play, though. Much better balance. He's going to drive it. So quick, what a feed. Right into the post, right into the basket for Edwards. I just love the duck in by Edwards, though. So well schooled. Great presentation and delivery. One of the most improved players, no question, in the ACC. He's already scored more points than he did all of last year, but only in December. He had a great run in March, I thought. Yeah, really came on. On that there sweet 16 run, and there's a three from Carey. He can make him. He can raise the level of his game. Did it at Siena. Gerard contested, fouled. And he'll have three at the line. Uh, really tough to defend on the shooter's size without side, excuse me, without fouling him. He knew he could get the contact. Heady player. That's a good way to describe him. Crafty, heady, he is. They use those little bumps and see Edwards. That little drag keeps the defender honest. This kid's got some stroke with 90% from the free throw line. You think he's practiced that a few times? Not too bad. Over 50% from three. Glenn Falls High School. We talked about his high school numbers. You know who else was there? That's the hometown of Jimmer Fredette. They used sure. to they used to call him Little Jimmer back in the day. <laughs> uh, Jimmer had a great run. BYU. Well, he could ring the bell, couldn't oh, he? Oh goodness. Yeah, he was fun to watch, and now this kid's fun to watch as well. 
Won three state titles there at Glen Falls High School. I can remember Jim having some games with San Diego State that were incredible. Muhammad, or rather, excuse me, Matumbo back in the game here. Teaching moment with Patrick Ewing over there. Well, Patrick think this kid can do something. He said to me yesterday, I've got to get him going. He likes his talent level. Billingsley. Yeah. He can drive it a little bit, runs the floor, works the offensive glass. He's another young freshman. Mm -hmm. Syracuse has got it back out to six points here. See how they always look behind them. Because no one in their area, they're always searching. Syracuse, that is their D. And Georgetown is having trouble penetrating inside that zone, as so many teams do. And that bump was effective. In the corner, another one from that spot for Donald Carey. And I'll tell you what, that really stretches the back line, the cover. He's got nine, so he and Rice, they're doing their thing. They've each hit three triples. Now Jimmy is not really happy with that corner coverage. Well, coming back with Swider. But it's tough to defend both the inside and that corner. Well, he yeah. expects you to, though. <laughs> Look at this tough shot. Straight away. Uh, I mean, he is such a confident offensive player. A little turnaround at six feet. Big, big time. Joseph Girard the third with another bucket. He's got eight. I think Williams is the guy that has to cover in the corner. Muhammad, how about that move? Everything but the finish. But he flashed that high post. Spinning. Pretty. Up and in. Benny Williams. Benny's not coming out now. <laughs> well, back in his hometown, he's got a lot of friends and family here today. Yeah, I think he was coming out for his own coverage, but that move. And Syracuse uncharacteristically with nine bench points here in the first half. Muhammad gets it inside again. Out of bounds the other way. And Muhammad thought he got fouled under that. I thought he did too. Oh, he got banged around a little bit, but this guy, you can bang him. You just can't beat him down. A little fade away. He did more minutes on the floor. A uh, nice contribution. And they expect a lot of big things from him. Little pin down series. Not a good pass there. And Muhammad got his hand on it. What a spin, but he lost it to Carey, and Sherrard is all alone. I don't know if you saw that, just the pass by Buddy Beheim. Nice and easy, let him really hit he play. Largest lead for Syracuse, and Jim Beheim, even though they lost to Villanova, he says, man, our team is playing a lot better the last three games, and I would agree. I'm impressed with what they've done. Indiana, Florida State, and then against a really good Villanova team, gave a good run. They were up at half, and then Villanova took over late in the second half. Here's a lob! And Muhammad or Batumbo, rather, is fouled by Williams. What a nice job by Harris, though. A little dribble drive and find as the defense steps up. How about this little spin? I just love the pass, though. Just run right under it. Nice and simple. You think they're running more, you said? Well, you look at the tempo numbers, Raph, and last year... For Georgetown, they were 101 now 29th, but to Syracuse's point as well, this is the fastest they've played since 2010. They're 89th in tempo, and you think 89th, that's not that fast, but it's the fastest in over a decade. But I do think the zone is so confusing. They're forcing tough shots, long rebounds, and they're a run-out team. They've always been maybe longer and quicker on the outside over the years defensively. And they're 9-0 right now in fast break points. But Georgetown needed those free throws and pulled them back within seven here. Two and a half to go. The horn set here. Well, Muhammad is really staying close to Buddy. Swider trying to lob it up top. Great pass, and there's Edwards. It really was. We're not related. It was a pass. <laughs> <laughs> and that gives the lead back up to nine now for the Orange. Georgetown, four and four. They've been trying to find their footing down the lane. That'll help. What a move for Dante Harris. Boy, what a ball fake to set it up. He has found a lane to the 10. And they look better, too. They had some frustrating losses early, Georgetown. Yeah, Open Joe's with Dartmouth. Won. Dartmouth, absolutely. And banging threes, patient on the offense, Dartmouth. 
Saw the no, but Syracuse has made their last seven shots. Can they make it eight? No. Edwards really does a good job. But it comes down to Caden Rice. He had nine early. He's been quiet, though, as of late. Nice pass. Matumbo going to work. Got there's, it. There's that little hook. He's got a game. Really coming into his own. He had 15 and 11 for his first career double double in the win Wednesday. Now, nice. Oh, goodness. Gerard. Gerard. This, you, go, you just can't lose him. You can't go under. Patrick is furious yesterday. He was expressing goodness. Just hug him. As our good buddy Clark Kellogg would say, as in the gym range, he when he's does. in the building, he can shoot it. Absolutely. If he can see it, he can deliver. Inside of a minute. I was looking to turn the corner. Don't leave him. Oh, he missed again. All nine of his points in the first five ten of this game. Beheim kicks. Extra pass to the other Beheim. The first Ooh. time he's had a good look, really. Did somebody open the door? We've got yeah. two air balls now. Harris, stop it, pop. No. What a rebound inside by Edwards. He is a factor. Shot clock's off here, Raph. Hold for one. You're going to hold for one. They've got to use it or lose a timeout. Right. I was wondering if he'd take it, and he does. Uh, the big thing now is the dribble drive. You have to stay at home on the perimeter because they'll kick and get in a good-looking three. Back to D.C. in a moment. You're going to think we'll rebound if you're Georgetown. Force a tough shot, contest, and go chase. Syracuse plus three on the glass. Again, they were minus 21 in the loss to Villanova. And Gerard's going to set the table here. Swider. Nice slip. Edwards got hit. No foul, but the bucket. What a great play. A little Swider. bit of time. A little Show bit of time, time here. Everything. Harris from midcourt. No, and Syracuse Rap will take their largest lead into the lockers. Uh, big now. Halftime for Patrick Ewing. They get his guys organized, and uh, you got to be resilient. Come back and play. Percent from Syracuse. George had just 37 percent from the field. That Georgetown, they hit those shots early, but like you and I were talking about, they've got to find a way to get Rice back on mm -hmm. track. And it all starts how you guard here. You got to stay at home on the shooters and rebound. See if he gets a nice little slip to the goal. Tough Ooh. pass, though. Yeah, through the hands of Edwards. A little heat. Look at Jimmy telling young Jimmy, the younger Jimmy, to go cross court to the corner and then to Edwards. I think he's a little harder on his two boys than the others. Oh, he's hard on everybody, yeah, right? I, I would think, you know, it reminds me of Al McGuire with his son, Ali. One of the players come in and said, I should have been out. It's too long a story. I'll hold off. <laughs> too much going on. Maybe we'll work yeah. it in. Harris. Nice. Get it into Muhammad. Great extra pass. And it goes to the corner. And it all worked. Three of them now <laughs> for Kerry. Yeah, in the corner. He's, that's his spot. He's got a dozen. Boy, Muhammad really is quick. He got back on Buddy Beheim was going to look for an early look. Edwards lost it. Look who picked it up. Aminu Muhammad. Ooh, he may have hit Gerard accidentally in the jaw. He should have passed it ahead, too. Harris attacks. Oh, not, a tough, not an easy catch. Right through the five hole of Little Malcolm picks. Wilson. <laughs> Oh, you hockey guys, you know. <laughs> and Gerard got a little pop there in the transition. Now they're going to take a look at it. Staying right on Buddy Beheim. I don't think you can hurt this kid. He doesn't want to go no, out of the he's game. He's tough. No, he is. And he's going to stay out there. He had a great first half. 13 points, four assists. They want to go over the top. It's dangerous that far out. Swider, another guy who had four assists in the first half. Yeah, he's played well. Gets it over. Beheim. no. He's had an off day. And we head the other direction. He's looking at himself, shaking his head a little bit. He knows normally that's a knockdown shot for him. Averages a team best 17.7, but last two against Florida State Nova, he's just 6 of 25, trying to get him back in rhythm. And that's what Jim Beheim said. He said, for us to be successful, obviously, Buddy has to build up a Cole Swider, too. Mm -hmm. Other deep shooters open up things for others. Yeah. On the other end, Muhammad attacking the rim. Folks, this freshman is good now. He's going to be great later. How about the physique of this kid? The presence really in the attack mode. He's had opportunities in the first half. We thought he got fouled on, but this is just an aggressive take. Big time. Looks like he loves playing, too.
Pretty good body for a freshman, too. Wow. Solidly built. Unbelievable. A couple of more years. Goodness. Preseason Big East Freshman of the Year. Three double doubles already, and he gets a three point play. He's got seven rebounds and six points. I remember doing a game for a young Carl Malone, mm. and his physique was not like that. Well, if his career turns out like that, I would <laughs> say things would be okay. The mailman. In the corner, Gerard short. Right there on the catch. Harris Gerard with the giveaway. 6-0 Georgetown run. Syracuse has not scored here yet in the second half. That's the way you got to come out too. Match the energy, the involvement. And they have found a little cushion at that big east mark in the three-second lane too. Let's see if they make adjustments, Syracuse. Well, with how Syracuse closed the first half, I thought these first few minutes very key for Georgetown. They have responded. I like when Harris gets in between defenders too. Two on one. Gives it off to Rice for three. No. Look at this kick jump by Edwards. Edwards battling with Wilson. They say it went off of Edwards. Nice shot by Wilson, too, contesting. In that zone, you don't have contact consistently in a checkout situation, so you can have opportunities to attack the glass. Patrick Ewing, he likes Wilson. He says he's really going to be a factor as his career continues. Catch and shoot three off the mark there for Carey. Swider, no hesitation. Yep, there's for Syracuse's first bucket oh, this they, half. They get organized, Brandon. Catch and shoot. You've got to be there, there. Right under him. Swider's giving him a little bit of everything. Four rebounds, four assists, that's seven tough. points. Yeah, that's settled. There is not his game. Swider again. This time puts it on the deck. That's where they're tough. One foot in the lane, they kick. Swider deep three tough moving to his left didn't get squared Harris up top Muhammad <laughs> Boy You combine that with what he does around the rim you got yourself a big-time performer Yeah, a complete player is eight three-pointer of the season first today Edwards, Two-handed flush on the other end oh, nice deployment too. big spread the dime on a big fella Jesse Edwards, a kid from the Netherlands, came to the U.S. in December of 2018 to focus on basketball, and boy, he's gotten good at it. He's the most important guy defensively in this zone. He's got to acknowledge where people are, talk, point. Well, there the lob over his head, but Slider saves it for Syracuse. They've got numbers. Oh, you know, Dante Harris is still down on the other end, grabbing his ankle, and now they're going to stop the play. He never got up. Reach right for that. Oops. Oh boy, then the, the trainer, trainer just down. fell on him. Slipped on the floor. He's the team with five assists a game. He's got three today, but to the end of the bench in some pain. Knowing the games I've watched, he will be back if possible. Tough, tough kid. 97th meeting between these two programs. Small lineup right here. Nice. Right into the lane with the left hand. That's what they want from him. They expect big things. He had off-season foot surgery, and Patrick Ewing said still working his way back to 100%. He looked pretty good there. He got a little post-up game, too. Swider, he's got the step-back game, but he missed it. And we head the other way. Timeout on the floor. Pretty good start by the Hoyas here to get back in the game, but that's the soft spot in that zone. <laughs> <laughs> he would come out of the game and Jimmy would say something to him and he would answer most kids never say yeah go yeah go. He'd say well, I was there when you didn't you, you know uh, uh, They were funny together. Yeah, of course he went on to have a great NBA career as well Ronnie Cycli A lot of famous faces in the building for this one Dante Harris by the way went back into the locker room for Georgetown that three-pointer off the mark there for rice and Syracuse wait He's been pointed the wrong, the wrong way. way. Yeah, it'll right. stay here. I like them getting Muhammad right in that three-second lane, though. Can spray it around for attack. Well, without Dante Harris, Tyler Beard, number three, becomes pretty key for Georgetown here, Raph. Absolutely. Running the show. He's the backup point. One of those guys that can get in the lane, though, which is what Harris does well. 
Knight, there's Muhammad inside. Tough shot. But he got the ball. Yes. He is a confident performer. It's cliche, but he's playing like a veteran, and he's just a freshman. Well, they need people who play old, no question about it. Well, they've got those six freshmen and sophomores in the rotation for Patrick Ewing. Now, this is where he's been really good, I think, but how about that counter? Little kiss! Buddy Beheim needed that. He'd been quiet. Just his third field goal. He's had to work for every one of them, though. Yeah, they've been tracking him all afternoon. Got Rice running some baseline bumps. See how they back off Swider here? He's going to do it quickly and decisively. Again, they get it into Muhammad. Look at this move. Fake! <laughs> a little lingerie on the deck. <laughs> Big time. Aminu Muhammad growing up right before our eyes. A little step through. Jimmy Beheim drops it off. Is it an offensive foul? Yes. He did his best to slide by, but a great presentation defensively. But how about Muhammad on the other end? He right? has been terrific. Uh, slipping him into the three-second lane, the little pump fake gets two airborne. Big time finish, and right here, uh, he was there definitely. I think he, even though he only got half the body, pretty good try to slide by by Jimmy. But Muhammad, the five-star McDonald's All-American, showing all the stars today. They're going to have to take away that post pass. Well, they got it to him again. Goes to work, and he threw the foul. Third on Edwards. Edwards thought he was straight up. Maybe got him with a body. Yeah, a little know. bit. And once you lean forward, he owns you. A big decision for Jimmy now. Uh, but they're going to have to go to that little 1-3-1 one, one look with Buddy playing that post guy. Because this has just been great impact on the outcome of this game. So key to get the ball in there. They've been able to do it to number zero. Kid who's from Nigeria came to the U.S. at age 14. Started his high school career here in D.C., but then finished it in Missouri. And, you know, it's funny, he, in an interview recently, he said, my parents actually sent me to the U.S. for education, not for basketball. And then they realized, wait, he's a pretty good basketball player. <laughs> How about combining it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's getting a world-class education on and off the court. 15 points, 12 of them this half, and we're tied. But it's like the old days in this building. They create a post up and elevate. Shot clock at five here. Gerard, he wants this thing. Whoa, he has to heave it. Turnover, violation. He was expecting Anson to come out on his own. Timeout. Syracuse right now. Boy, this reminds you of when he was playing. Doesn't it? Look at it. I think because they do exploit. And this guy's been around one almost a thousand games. He's got a couple of Mike carcasses under the shed somewhere. This is his 1502nd game. Now they go to that little 131, hoping to take away that middle game. Beard tried to thread the needle. He got away with it. And you can see Buddy really shadowing Amino. Donald Carey underneath. Double teams there. Forcing it up, no, and a foul on the rebound. That's on Muhammad. He's aggressive, no question about it. But he had a clean run or path to the 10. Just his second, though. Get back to Beheim, though. It's hard to believe it. over 1,500 games as a coach, and he had almost 300 as a player and assistant. I mean, his whole life in Western New it's York. It's incredible. It's an easy ride. Yeah. No tolls. That's why I'm saying. <laughs> I, I knew they would go to Jimmy because he's good at finishing or finding some people. Well, here's Gerard. You mentioned him. Tough shot. Got his own miss. Beheim on the reload. Well, he hurried it just a little before the D got there. But Syracuse will keep it. And Gerard with a great little pass. They set him up. Actually playing small, at least not with post people. Syracuse. Set play for Swider. He had to get rid of it, though. Jimmy Beheim spinning. Using that off right hand. Tapped out to Beard. Just a little too deep for that delivery. In the corner, open three, right. 
he's, no, he's missed his last seven from deep. Boy, that would have brought the house down if he made that. Remember, he hit those three early, and then he's gone cold since. Well, buddy, really intent on getting to the rim that time because he's been struggling from deep. To see the go through sometimes opens your eyes a little bit. The energy in this building has picked up so much since George went on this run. I was here a couple of years ago. The pigeons were with me. You know, I moved my arm just to make sure they knew I was here. Uh, but now this is the way it used to be. Yeah. You know, Patrick really worked hard. Loves this group. As we mentioned, the age is a big problem. Not the experience necessary. And wrap Dante Harris is back out there with that ankle injury as Bayheim gets the bucket. Smart kid. Obviously, get into that lane, build your confidence a little. Now, if you look at the right shoe, you can see the heavy tape that got put on that ankle. This kid's a gamer. Well, you said it. He'd be back, yeah. and he's back. In the corner, carry. Harris back to carry. Fail to count the three. The closeout. First, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> first Georgetown lead since mid lead since it was 16-15 after the carry three. I mean, Carey's really done a nice job for this team. He's solid. Yeah, he has. He's got 15 points to lead the way. He also has four assists. Talked about getting older. He's one of the few. Yeah, he's the grad senior transferred in from Siena. Actually started his career at Mount St. Mary's, so he's been around. Where is Syracuse going to find their offense? Uh, they, they like to go to this now. If you come and help, and he's good with either hand. Can an offensive one they go. He did get a little wrap around. That didn't chicken you? wing got yeah. out. I thought they might get him, but uh, instead count the bucket. He may have been in a position that avoided the eyes. Let's see now. See? Oh, Ooh. my goodness. He got away with that. Yeah. They call that nine times out oh, of ten. Absolutely. But he is good in that low post area. And now if Patrick decides to help, that's when he is really astute finding people. Jimmy Beheim, only thing he does is shoot set shots left-handed. Everything else falls right. He does right-handed, but he misses the free throw. We are in for a good one. All tied at 55 as we approach 11 minutes. You might say Jimmy is Ambi, right? Ambi. <laughs> <laughs> nice look. Can he finish? Yes, with a left hand for Holloway. Tell you, Aminu Muhammad has a feel for this game. He now has four assists, the nine rebounds, and the 15 points. Gerard. Bayheim looking for space, spinning, leaning. Tap back, no. Out of bounds, it belongs to Georgetown. Well, Jim Bayheim not agreeing. And I, I think at this point he's got to start thinking with Edwards on the bench with some foul problems. Well, he's coming in just as you say that. Oh, okay, Ralph. good. Yeah, Jim Bayheim still not happy with a call from Tony Chiazza. There is Edwards. Jimmy's one of the great pleaders. <laughs> Extended arms, paying homage to the referees. Yeah, you don't even need to hear him. You can tell what he's saying yeah. with his mannerisms. He just loves this game, loves this school. And year in and year out, boy, they are an impressive group. First made the run to the Sweet 16 last year, unexpected with their seeding. Nice pass again. Holloway, good kick around the arc. Look at this, Beard. Short. Yep, short. Back out to Harris. Run your stuff now. Don't just take a bad shot. Beard splits him and throws it away. Anytime you leave your feet, you're exposed. Up ahead, Swider. Syracuse could use it. There's a foul. He'll head to the line. Wise by Swider, though. He knew he had that size. Took the hit. Tried to get it up on the glass. But that cross-court look. You got to know the uh, the top part of the zone is going to collapse. That's a responsibility. Really good look ahead, Gerard. Slider, the senior from Portsmouth, Rhode Island, knocks down the first. And when he hit the transfer portal, Cole Slider, he admitted, he said, I did it with Syracuse in mind, hoping that Jim Beheim would contact me. And he did. It's worked out pretty well. He's a confident kid, really, and I think growing in that area as well. Not, not 
thinking about the shot. If he misses one, just keep plugging away. He's got nine, and we're tied again at 57. We're back to the 2 3. I like Aminu in the center there. Can they get it to him? They tried. Behind takes it away. And Gerard had it poked out, but it'll stay with Syracuse. He was ready to give it to Swider, too, even the, the right lane. Oh, a misuse of the ball against that zone. Got to be tough with it. Turnovers, eight for Georgetown now, seven for Syracuse. Now he can elevate now if they can give him room. He drives, tries to curl it around Edwards. Oh, he missed the bunny. Muhammad inside. Great feed. Left hand up and in for Holloway. How about the way he held off Holloway? He is tough in that low box area watching games. Eight points now for the sophomore from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Buddy Buckets going to work. No. His brother had the rebound but lost it. Numbers here. Muhammad. Oh, oh. that's a good one. Patrick over there. <laughs> oh, turn it his head. <laughs> uh, youth shall be served. You see Muhammad, where he put his hands up, he said, it's okay, yeah. I got it. Coach, you forget the good things when something like that happens, though. <laughs> Empty side here. Gerard. Beheim from the elbow. No. Well, he's had a lot of good looks for him. He's 4 of 12. On the other side, doesn't drop, but Harris will head to the line. Boy, nice counter, though. Come up empty to one end. Nice push by Georgetown. Boy, they're playing with a lot of tempo and feel. Talk about quickness. Explosive, nice angle, turn that body. Everything but chance for two. We talked about some of their losses to Dartmouth, South Carolina, St. Joe, San Diego State. They, they look so much different here today. Well, this is what they have to bring every day, and I think that's what Patrick has been trying to instill in them. And for Syracuse, you know, we mentioned how Jim Beheim after the loss to Villanova, he said, look, I'm actually pretty pleased with where we're at. We've been playing so much better. You mentioned Indiana, mm -hmm. Florida State, that win. But today, at least in the last 10 plus minutes, Georgetown has had their number. Georgetown has really not extended the floor much either. I thought they might attempt that after makes the beyond free throws. Do you think that Edwards involved on a slip or a post up? A Gerard fouled. Yeah, Harris got him. You say why though? He's not shooting. He's staying on the floor. Second on Dante Harris. Uh, people, you know, we keep saying young, but composure is the essence of having older people. And it, until you develop that, it's tough to put teams away. Stay high. Back it down. No. Edwards with those long arms couldn't keep it alive. Nice collective rebound. All of a sudden, Georgetown is plus seven on the glass after being minus five earlier. Three-pointer race! Finds his stroke. What range for your counterpunch. Tip for ten. Top of the arc, Gerard. No offensive rebound slider. Beheim on the reload. Got it! Wow, that's the problem. You must stay at home on a rebound on these shooters. You can't go... And assist. Let the bigs collect. And Beheim trying to find his range. He's struggling in this game. He was 0 for 9 for deep the last two. And taking it to the rack and fouled is Dante Harris. And we've got a timeout. We need it. Everybody go to your benches. <laughs> need a blow. Uh, goodness. The range of number 11. He started. They realize that, you know, we all get great talent. And we're going to win some. We're going to lose some. And let's do what's right for the game. They both did. And now Patrick Ewing, who of course helped John Thompson win the title back in 84, is heading up this Georgetown team that has had a great second half. They're really finding their rhythm. Because they had a run, what, three out of four, and final four is, I mean, just incredible. Patrick Ewing, four-time Big East Defensive Player of the Year. What a player. 
He led by example, though. He reminded me of Willis Reed in the sense of the hardest working guy in the gym, particularly here and then obviously with the Knicks as well. Inside a seven and a half, four point game. Remember, Syracuse led this by 10 at intermission. Buddy Beheim hit a three a moment ago. This time it's Swider. Yes. Right you just open a little bit. Give them an opportunity for a catch and shoot. Nail it. They were under 30% from three. Now they've hit a couple in a row. Swider's got a dozen. You got to do individual defense against Syracuse. Play your own. Don't overhelp. Harris. They've been able to get in the middle and find the baseline like that. Holloway, ooh, dangerous pass, Muhammad, and we head the other way. But they've done a lot of nice things. Of course, the passing, that earned pass cost them, but uh, this is just, uh, just a little open on the wing, and Rice pays mightily. So Syracuse seizing a little of that momentum back. Behind set play for him. Ooh, it was right on line. He pinned down. He thought he had it. He's he walking back on D. Go to the middle with the dribble of the fine. Nice look. One-handed pass underneath. Bucket for Holloway again. He's got 10. Nice job by Harris with the fine. Holloway's made a living right around the rim. He sure has. Well, you said it. They've been able to find him in there. Behind gets the bounce. Well, he got a bang, too. Little kiss. Opportunity. All of a sudden, he's rounded into the form, isn't he? Yep, he had the cold start. Now he's hit two here as of late. And all of a sudden, he's got 15 points, Buddy Beheim. Trying to give Rice a look. Working it around the arc. Here he is. Rice, two to shoot. Got to put it up. No, they're not going to get it off. Well, that's your job as the point guard to know. You've got to see it and respond. And that's a killer. Well, Empty when, trip. When Harris got up in the air, I thought he was at yeah. least going to hoist it exactly. to the basket. And it wouldn't have counted if he made it. Georgetown now five turnovers wrapped in the last four minutes. Poise down the stretch. Nice pass. Great pass. Set off the window for Jimmy Beheim. And what a good read. A little bump got him. Jimmy to the box. The Beheim brothers giving the cue a lift. They're back up by a penny. Dante Harris. Nice hit, step and go. And then finding Rice in the corner. That's his spot, but he misses it. And Gerard went with the challenge. Swider. I thought he was going to launch that thing. They play out of this now, so you got to stay home on the perimeter. This is where Jimmy Beheim is so crafty. Had it blocked. What defense by Muhammad. And we head the other way. Beheim fouled him. There's Aminu Muhammad again, Rap. Putting his fingerprints all over this Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Both ends of the floor. His physicality just imposed his will on the bounce and the turnaround. And standing tall, and just a great effort. This kid's played both ends of the floor flawlessly. Dad wanted a foul, didn't get it, but the freshman Muhammad defending the fifth-year senior Jimmy Beheim, and now on the other end, he'll be at the line because that was Syracuse's eighth team foul. And Muhammad on the floor a long time, too. He has played intense minutes. And he hits the front end, 16 points to go along with the 12 rebounds. He just plays with an air of confidence, this kid. Mentioned he's a preseason conference player of the year, also the reigning Big East freshman of the week with the efforts he's had recently, and that's carried over today. You've got to be careful with Harris now, with Gerard. He's pretty clever defensively. Fake and recover. Gerard still sitting on 13 points, giving it off to Beheim. Almost had it taken away. Got it back, fed his brother. Oh, it's a neck ball. A neck ball. I don't think they called a foul. They didn't. They uh, it's possession. Yep, and we'll head the other yeah. way. 
See, now you could not go up and get that, I don't think. No, <laughs> no sir, that would be correct. Uh, Good pass, though. Yeah, my pal Lion Eagle calls it a wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> For the Birdman. Yeah, the Birdman, but uh, a neck ball. Boy, Jim Beheim was not happy. He thought there was contact again and a foul. He didn't get the whistle. Approaching four minutes left. This is an old school rivalry. We're seeing it played out here today. Shot clock at five. Holloway left shot. hand no. Battle for the board up ahead. Buddy Beheim going to work. Yes. How about that? A one on two, basically, he had the confidence and the ability to counter. Back and forth we go in DC. I like Amino on that foul line. Now he's down on the block, yeah, Mohammed. He's, he's the hide guy. Here he is. He's going to pull from 15. Got it. How about that? Really a nice deployment, nice kick. Holloway with the delivery. Hit the three earlier, the mid range. He's done it at the rim, all three levels. Buddy Beheim again. Touchdown. Tap back, look at Edwards with those long arms. Swider right in rhythm. Short. Knocked out of bounds. Georgetown ball. Whew. Media timeout. Folks, does it get any better than this? How enjoyable has this been? Toe to toe. Put it on the deck. The They've done a nice job getting the baseline hide guy the ball on a quick pass to the lane or dribble into the lane. Getting down to the good stuff. Brandon Gunn, Bill Raftery, happy to be with you here from D.C. Inside Holloway. Back out, here's Carey. Nice set out of the timeout, though. In the corner, Rice fighting Muhammad. Muhammad spinning. Great kick to Carey. Oh, good luck. Look at the rebound by Edwards. Well, he does go up and possess with two. And his long arms, he's got eight rebounds now. Here he is on the offensive end. Pretty move, yeah. too. Little spin away. And Gerard yeah. almost stole yeah. it. Amino afraid with his three fouls to do anything down there. That's a good point. Really like this Jesse Edwards, though. Oh, yeah. He just plays within his ability. Doesn't get a whole lot of touches because they're so perimeter him. But when he gets the opportunity, steps up. And he gave Syracuse a one-point lead again. Six ties, eight lead changes in this ballgame. And nobody in the middle. Now they got Amino. Can they get it to him? They do. Turn and face. Got Edwards on it, though. Shoots it over. <laughs> and How about that pirouette? Poise under fire. Woo. Make it nine lead changes. Give Muhammad 21. Beheim driving. He can elevate now. But he's in some trouble. Fades. Tap back. His brother picking up the slack. <laughs> I got you, buddy. <laughs> I got your back. The older brother picking it up for Buddy Beheim. 90 seconds. Back and forth, back and forth. Amino's got to get a touch. And the buddy's got to help on the foul line, too. They get it to him. Here we go. The young freshman kicks it out. Rice for three. Yes! yes! Patrick Ewing takes a timeout. What a scene in deep. Double figures. We'll see where they go. Buddy Beheim with 17 leads the way. Now, big thing, too, rebounding. You got to play your own. Rebounding, you got to stay at home for the kickout pass. Edwards, the big man up top, giving it back to Buddy Beheim. Swider, deep three. No. Rebound secured by Harris. Keep in mind, Syracuse still with a foul to give. Or they've got eight fouls. Georgetown with a foul to give as we go down to the wire here. See, see I, you've got to run your stuff down. You're going to get stuck late. You've got to get into it. Shot clock at eight. This zone is too tough. That's, they get a, full, that's a break. That is a break because the shot 20. clock goes to 20. Yeah, that's five. huge. 
Well, if you're Syracuse, are you still playing this out defensively? Uh, they, uh, that's a good. I think you do. I think you do. Each team has two timeouts. Keep that in mind as well. Like a little trap, which they haven't done. But they were able to escape it. Carry. Well, now they got it. Oh, they, they were trying to give it. They did. And they do foul. It was Cole Swider. I thought they might play it out there yeah. once it got down around I 10. I did too. Swider did the right thing, though. With 16.3 remaining. It's still a one and one because that's the ninth team foul on Syracuse. And Donald Carey, who's one of the best free throw shooters in the entire Big East. 83%. He just got a great stroke. He has not missed today. He's 4-4. Four four. And that continues. And now the big one to make it a two-position game. Now you got to push. I think you've got to attack at the other end. You may get a three out of the attack. Thought Jim Beheim might use one of those timeouts, yeah. but he's going to keep them. <laughs> oh, he got it. The skin of his teeth. Syracuse has to hurry. Gerard, he's going to drive. Gets to the rim. Can oh, the foul. Woo. What a play. Joseph Gerard the third this kid there's certain kids that have something inside a toughness Boy personified here a little bump helps him the hesitation to stand up the defender the blow by and how about that reach back in traffic against a bigger opponent 13 points in the first half he had not scored in the second until that moment Oh, he missed the free throw to give it and they do foul right away. Muhammad will walk to the other end, and he'll have two at the line. And Gerard Raff, a 90% free throw shooter. It's unbelievable. Jim Beheim can't believe it. A lot of things they would have to do, even if he made it, obviously. The give. And this ice water in his veins. He's been magnificent. Seven of eight at the line today. Quick timeout. Make them think a little bit. Look for Georgetown. The three-quarter court, not a press, but pressure. Make them use a little bit of clock as they bring the ball up. You don't want to turn them into a speed game. Oh, I got it. They need it as quick as they can get it. They're taking too long. Gerard long three. No. Rebound secured by Georgetown. And the Hoyas win it. Just like it used to be. What a game. Boy,